Kelly Aerospace states that a manned combat aircraft can control multiple Aero UCAVs, each with a different mission, equipment and weapon set. It can be launched autonomously, or be remotely controlled by two ground station controllers. Apart from air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions, the company says the Aero can also be deployed for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance tasks. The Aero is designed to complement manned aircraft and be a force multiplier in the aerial battlefield, an information sheet on the program states. With a maximum takeoff weight of 16,800 kg, 37,040 pounds, the Aero is able to fly more than 2,600 nm. 4,810 kilometers, at speeds of up to Mach 2.1. The company touts the, relatively low price, of the UCAV as one of its advantages, a single aero UCAV markets for between $9 million and $16 million. This, it adds, allows more airframes to be purchased and yet, have a multi-role supersonic UCAV to perform high-risk missions as it does not necessarily need to return home. Kelly Aerospace adds that the drone's design, a monocoque made of proprietary carbon fiber material, is the first of its kind in the world. It is designed for a reduced radar cross-section and infrared signature. The carbon fiber and monocoque design endows the Aero with outstanding strength and stiffness, adds the company. The Aero UCAV program is part of an ambitious foray by Kelly Aerospace into the supersonic arena. At a launch event in Singapore in December 2020, the company disclosed it was also developing a supersonic business jet. Two prototypes are reporting undergoing testing in the USA and Sweden.